Hi, welcome to Inspiration Retreats with Shari. I'm your host, Dr. Shari, and I'm super delighted that you tuned in again today for another treat from the Lord. Our daily treat on Sundays is to pray. So let us go to God's throne of grace, mercy, and truth. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Most gracious and all wise God, we turn to you right now. Lord, as we sit on this, 31st day of May of 2020. Lord, it has been a trying time. It has been a, an exhausting time. It has been a devastating time. Lord, like never before in our lifetimes, things have gone from bad to worse. And only you, Lord, can help us. Father God, you said if your people who are called by your name shall humble themselves and pray, Lord, right now we're humbling ourselves before you, Lord. We are putting ourselves at your mercy, Lord, asking you to intervene, hallelujah, in our land, in our country, the country of the United States of America. Lord, from the White House all the way through to every single house in this land, Lord, let your spirit be known. Lord, let us as your Christian soldiers be willing, be obedient to open up our mouths and tell somebody about Jesus Christ. They are running in the streets. They're running at night. They're going wild, Lord. And the only reason is that they don't have hope in you. Lord, we understand that people are hurting. We hurt too when we see an innocent man murdered on the streets. And that protesting is right in its place, but not rioting and destruction of property and destruction of livelihoods. Lord, people don't know where to turn. They're already hurting because of the pandemic. Some are out of employment. And as some businesses allowed people to go back to work, now they're their businesses are burnt out. They are closed down and there is nowhere to turn. Father God, let us continue to look to you, the author and finisher of our faith. Lord, let us let love abide in our hearts for one another. Lord, let mercy, mercy, mercy right now suits our case from you, O oh Lord. But let us each have mercy to our fellow man. Lord, we we can't do it on our own. We can't profess to know to do it on our own. Lord, we can only do it by your strength and your power and your might. Lord, give us your Holy Spirit afresh. Lord, fill us all again so that we can go out and tell those and demonstrate to others your love, your grace, and your mercy. Lord, we just fall at your feet right now asking you, Lord, to give us the strength. And for those who don't have the courage, give them the courage. And Lord, for those that don't have the understanding, give them the understanding. And it's all done by your Holy Spirit. And because we are followers of Jesus Christ, we love you, Lord. And we thank you right now for doing it. In Jesus' name, amen.